I got some pork loin here. I'm gonna basically dice up uh, and marinate. And it's pretty big for a tiny cutting board. Uh, well, can't even see it on Facebook, but ah, I'm just gonna drop everything real quick. That's my setup, all right? And I'm about to smash my new phone. <laughs> anyway, so first gonna cut this pork into uh, little cubes here. Nice little cubes. Into about, I'm gonna show you the size in a second. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, the tiny cutting boards, I got a set of them. Uh, and this is easy to clean up. What baby hope? Oh, she's being a little fussy. Anyway, so about right that size, I guess. And uh, and then we work on the marinade. So what's up, guys? So um, like I, I uh, I'm doing a black pepper pork and uh, I've already cut and marinated my pork for the marinade I'm using uh, cooking wine and uh, oriental soy sauce not that cheap Kiko man stuff then we got some oyster sauce and and these are you know pretty authentic oriental ingredients anyway also uh, sesame oil got some uh, salt and sugar and uh that was my marinade and uh i got an errand boy running for my uh peppers and onions right now so that'll come a little bit later uh yeah so i'm gonna let this pork marinate for about half an hour or so and then uh and then as i as i uh progress i'm gonna cut up the onions Cut up the peppers. Uh, I'm actually gonna fry the pork a little bit, all right? Just uh, just enough to get like a crispy surface, all right? All right. So uh, we're on to frying this, and it's actually uh, <clears throat> probably actually let this heat up a little too long. Now I got into conversation with uh, my delivery boy. He finally came through with my. Uh, with my veggies <laughs> so we got veggies and now I'm gonna try not to burn the shit out of myself oh one thing I forgot too I went ahead and added cornstarch uh, to the pork now preferably I'd use flour but I uh, I'm out so cornstarch it is cornstarch works just fine uh, that helps with that texture as well. This thing, by the way, this, uh, this perforated spoon is like my favorite thing, right? When I'm, uh, when I'm pan frying, whatever. It's the best. Kind of frying here, I'm gonna get my paper towel, line the plate, get that ready. And I've already gone ahead and cut up my pepper and onions and uh, wipe my tears away afterwards. <laughs> so that's ready to go. So I had to I had to revert to cooking indoors because rain. So I'm gonna start with a little bit of uh, sesame oil and some minced garlic. Woo! <laughs> and my happy wooden spoon. Oh, <laughs> 
it. <clears throat> Stir that as best as I can, which I cannot do, because I'm indoors. I don't have my wok grill. Anyway, so we got that going. Nice. <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna put a ton of black pepper. And this uh, this, this crunched one is, is more preferred, I guess, than the uh, than the powder. That kind of helps with the texture a little bit. And a tiny bit of soy, or not soy, salt. Well, both. <laughs> so, a little bit of salt, a little bit of soy. Not a whole lot. Yeah. Boom. Mix that in real good. These wooden spoons are really the best on your uh, your wok or whatever you have, you know, your, especially your non-stick stuff. It's a wooden spoon. Then I'm gonna add some sugar and uh, I have to be a little bit heavy on the sugar for this. I like this thing to be kind of like uh, a little sweet and salty. Turn that heat up a little bit. Yeah. Alright. Not bad. It smells good. It's a good sign when it smells good. Alright. Anyway, I feel a little bit ridiculous with the live streaming with the with a big GoPro on my forehead, so I'm gonna cut this camera out. pepper pork mm. bam so come by if you're hungry I got a lot 